Hello and welcome to the Tutorial Toolbox. My name is Tobias and this is Unity 101 Episode 5. Last time we added some basic movement to our little player in the first of a bunch of concept games we will be creating. This time we're going to add a little bit of physics so that the game is more realistic. So uh, let's let's get to it. So we're back at our scene here. We have our player and we have our plane. And when we drive off the edge, nothing happens. So that's a bit weird, right? We, If we drive off the edge, he should fall off the edge. So in Unity, the way you can add physics is by adding a new component. Physics, rigid body. So rigid, rigid body is this, well, physics enabling component that allows us to uh, allows there to be applied forces to the to the object that it's applied on. So you can see falls off the edge. Great. We don't really want him to fall off the edge though. So we should add some walls. And I am going to do that by simply creating some cubes and manipulate well um, scaling them and positioning them so like so they appear like walls around our plane uh, so let's uh, do that let's do that gotta switch that and that and Actually, it should be uh, 4.9. Uh, 4.9 because else the edges won't align right. And yeah. And duplicate that. And there we go. So now we have a confined box with our cube in it. And you can see when we move around, it kind of wobbles a bit. And when we go to the corners, well the walls, it starts acting really weird like falling around and stuff like that. <laughs> um, so we need to fix this because that's not right. And we need to do two things. First let's open up our script um, and we need to change this to fixed update instead of just update because fixed update is used when you have to work with physics and um, right and then we have to freeze the rotation of the axis in the rigid body on our player so now um, the axis it can rotate and it's updating properly and everything is working as intended um, we can add a little bit more mass to the object with this rigid body. It, it allows us to do a bunch of things. It, uh, for example, allows us to do uh, to add mass. Like if you had something you wanted to have a lot of mass compared to something else that has little mass, they would affect each other differently. And drag, basically. Um, when there's resistance coming when you're moving and stuff like that drag and angular drag is forces applied to the object when it's moving um, or when other forces are applying to it kind of causing it to behave more like reality we also have this use gravity thing which as it says, uses gravity. If we take it off, uh, objects won't fall down. Is kinematic basically means that it can. It doesn't have. It doesn't use its collider. So, for example, if I enable is kinematic, bam, just uh, it's like not having the rigid body there at all. Actually, once we take it off. It's back to normal though. And then we have this interpolate, which I'm actually not sure what does. Uh, we could try and find out. 
and I forgot to tick off is kin is kinematic. It looks like um like this wobbling thing wasn't there before at least, so I'm thinking that interpolate has something to do with that extrapolate. So it's something to do with um, when collision happen. If we have it off, whoops. Yeah, so it's something. It has something to do with how collisions are done, as well as collision detection. Uh, that uh, also has something to do with how collisions are done. And then of course we have constraints. Uh, we can also freeze the positions. So if we do this, we can still move. But that's weird. <laughs> okay. Um, but. All right, yeah, of course. Uh, when we freeze the positions, the the way we're moving the object right now, we are moving it by moving its transform, and by freezing the positions, we are not allowing the collisions to manipulate the position like normally. Uh, X and C positions they would be um, manipulated. You can see up here that they're slightly changing. When um, all the time when we're trying to move, and that's because the collision is moving it back all the time. So when we freeze the positions, because we're manipulating the transform and not the rigid body, then it um, it won't collide with anything, and it, it's ju it's just going to keep going on. Um, which is why sometimes when you um, do movement, you could also movement by uh, applying forces to the rigid body or sometimes you would do it purely with animation but it really depends on the object and the game you're trying to make and a bunch of different stuff but as um, for right now us manipulating the transform is going to do just fine but we could of course change it so that um, we could do movement in another way but that will have to be another time if it is needed so um, next uh, this has been physics it's not really that much to uh, there's not really let that much more to talk about this is the, the very basics we added physics we now have a box where our cube can't move out of and if he were able to, he would fall and plunge into eternity. And next time, we are going to add some jumping, because that could be fun. And then we are going to add some objects that our player can move into and collect. And yes, that has been everything. So thank you guys for watching. It's been a blast and I'll see you guys next time.